Hey everyone, today I'll be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class Hot Rod from the Transformers the movie, movie 86 subline. And, he, and it says right here he's number four in the line. Uh, taking a look at the packaging, as you can see, I think this is like a re release because um, I think the original one had a bigger window and stuff. But maybe it looked like this, I just forgot. But it has an image of Hot Rod right there holding the Matrix 8604. Autobot Hot Rod, Transformers on the side. As you can see, uh, I got this from Walmart, but I guess they just chucked this bitch into the truck because it's even been uh, damaged on the inside. So they, I hope hope this is not a, re a return. Hopefully not. But right on the side, you got an image of Hot Rod. On the other side, close-up image on his face. Back, you got product shots of, the, of him in his robot mode and vehicle mode, Transformers in 29 steps. On the top, you got Transformers the movie. On the bottom, you got barcodes and stuff, so yes, get to it and open this guy up. Getting them out of the packaging, uh, I can safely say that this is one amazing looking figure. Just the sculpt and the detail is awesome, and they put it at a Voyager class price point, which some people have complained about when it's the deluxe class size. But honestly, just the paint apps and the accessories and the engineering they put in this guy, I feel like it's worth that price point. But taking a look at that head sculpt, as you see, it looks really good. I really love the how they got painted the eyes there very cleanly. It looks really nice. You got the face there just done in gray. Then the rest of the helmet, you got this silver right here. And then also you got this nice maroon going up the top of it. Looks really good. And on the arms, you got this silver bar right here. You got some nice uh, sculpted lines right here on the... On the arm right there. And you got some more sculpted lines. You got this orange painted right there. And the hands, which are actually articulated, which is really nice. And you got these uh smell these uh exhaust pipes right here done in silver. And then on the chest, I think this looks absolutely amazing. Honestly, better than the masterpiece. I'm just gonna have to say that. Better than the masterpiece figure right here. Because the masterpiece figure had the flat chest. That was actually the I think the actual um front of the vehicle mode. But since this is a faux part, they can actually get that angle that's supposed to be right there. It looks, that, that angle is supposed to be right there, I don't know. But it looks very good. I love the flame going across there. What is that right there? Let me get that off. I love that flame going across there and the Autobot logo. You got this, these faux headlights right here and you got the maroon color and that uh, orangish yellow color right, right there. And you got that crotch area, which has some sculpted lines on it. It's pretty good. Then the legs, got some sculpted detail on the sides of it. And also on the front, you got a vent right here. I wish on the knees that uh, they did this in orange instead of yellow, but right here it just sticks out kind of, which uh, kind of sucks. But honestly, I can I can deal with that. And then on the inside of the leg, it's actually, this figure is complete, is not hollow at all. Every part of it is covered up, which is absolutely, it's so amazing, not even... Uh, I guess they, I guess they could do this in a Voyager class price point, but not in the, in the deluxe class price point, which is so very awesome. I love that. I love that a lot. Honestly, I think I'll pay thirty dollars just for all deluxe to look like this. I'm, I'm just joking. Don't don't do that, Hasbro. But uh, no more price hikes, please. <laughs> but there's a uh, some sculpted detail right there on the shin. Looks very good. You got that vent right there. Looks very awesome. The foot right there and then you got this part of the which is technically kibble but honestly it, it's supposed to be purple well, i'm pretty sure or this color but i don't really care it fills out the legs and hides parts and it looks it just looks very good i love the look of this figure and the back is very flat they flatten this back very nicely and the back looks clean just overall the just the look of this figure looks so so good it just looks very good uh, for accessories, he comes with his two guns here, and uh, this one's my favorite out of the two. But they both got some nice detail, and they're painted in silver. You see there, and of course, that will plug into the hand. And then also, you have these flame effects slash blast effects that you can plug into the gun, of course. So you can get a blasting effect, or... If you want him shooting flames out, you can actually plug it into the exhaust right there. 
And that also, and that also looks uh, good. And then he also comes with a, uh, with, with a matrix, which is the same, I'm pretty sure. I can get this open. I think it is the exact same. Yep. Actually, this one has a darker blue clear plastic. And it's more bronze paint right there. So they actually are different. Unfortunately, you cannot get this matrix in into the chest of a uh, hot rod. I really wish you can do that. But unfortunately, you actually can't. There's no way to actually do that because there is some parts in there. So you can't actually do that. So I really wish you could, but unfortunately you can't. But he also comes with this effect part that you can uh, plug on to the matrix of leadership. So you can recreate him uh, opening it up and uh, igniting the spark and uh, singing You Got the Touch song or some light or darkest hour, that type of stuff. So you can have him hold that with his articulated hands. And my favorite accessory comes with is this pizza cutter. It's just because the silver right here looks so nice and as he's like sculpted uh, lines in there making it look like it. it's spinning. It can, just drop the damn thing. It can spin, but not that freely, but it does have those sculpted lines where it can, where you can make it look like it's spinning into, get it into his hand, you untab that, rotate the hand in, and close that back up. And then you just plug the pizza cutter in and it looks very good. I really like how that looks. You can get them in some nice poses with that. And that's not all that this figure had. This figure has some features in them that he has. You can, if you untab this and rotate this around, you have this uh, little fixer thingy. I forgot what it's called, but I'm picking up blur. I meant to pick up cup. You can use this to fix cup. Uh, just like he did in the in the movie when he's uh, broken apart. And also, he does have a feature up here in the head. And you may have noticed that little pin back there. And then uh, you just untab that. And then take this clear piece, put it down. Then you have his visor, which is very cool. Uh, different display option if you want that. That just giving us two head sculpts that just did this and it's amazing i love that very much i'm pretty sure the masterpiece figure did that as well so this is basically a miniature masterpiece honestly so with accessories and features this and detail this figure has it uh but uh measuring this guy out to see how tall he is he stands roughly about five and three quarters and just tall and up to the little fins there about six inches or six and a quarter. So honestly, this is a very good figure. Uh, scaling them next to other figures. I uh, guess putting next to some other 86 Autobots here. There he is next to Jazz in Cup. Cup is not standing up straight. There he is. There he is next to Jazz and Cup, right there. Getting those out of way to bring in uh, another 86, some more 86 uh, figures. He is next to Blur, and also a figure I've yet to review yet. Also haven't reviewed Cup yet. Here is next to Rekgar. Yep, Rekgar's a Voyager scale figure. And here he is next to Optimus Prime in here. And also, oh, I Rod just fell over. And also here he is next to Megatron. And just wanna say something real quick. Hot Rod did not kill Optimus Prime. He got Optimus Prime killed. I don't know why people keep saying he killed him. He did not kill Optimus Prime. Killing someone is basically taking a gun and shooting him back in the head. Getting someone killed is like putting them in a situation, that a dangerous situation, and they die because of it. 
that's not that's that's not killing someone. That's getting someone killed. Hot Rod didn't kill Optimus Prime. He got him killed. Okay. I want I don't want people to keep saying that Hot Rod killed Optimus Prime. And I'm honestly on the fence if he even got him killed. Honestly. But uh, for articulation, uh, for the head, there's a ball joint, and he can look up very far. Honestly, I'm surprised at how far he can look up. Can look down pretty far as well. You got some uh, okay head tilt. Not that bad. You got rotation there as well. Arm can hinge out all the way and can rotate around. Of course, not 360 because his big ass fin gets in the way. You got some, uh, you got an elbow rotation, single jointed bend at the elbow. Goes past 90. You got wrist rotation and then you got hinges at the hand. There is a waist rotation. Leg can kick up that far can kick back that far honestly kicks back farther than other transformers that i've seen can go out very far thigh rotation double jointed bend at the knee goes pretty far ankle can hinge up and down and you got ankle pivot so overall this guy's articulation is borderline amazing uh, great very great articulation honestly and for some reason he doesn't want to stand up straight i don't know why he does not oh yeah very great articulation and now for transformation on this guy first what you want to do is untab this area right there and they put the uh the, the serial uh, number right there as well where you're never going to see it so that's nice you rotate this around and then you just untab this whole area right here take this hinge this out hinge that out rotate this whole section around and just tab that in right there for now then what we want to do take the head rotate that around hinge that into there and then take this tab that in like so you want to rotate around the waist and you want to untab this area right here according to this out tab that in fold in the foot and take this and just collapse that right there and then that whole thing will just Hold in like that. Do the same exact thing on the other side. Just take that, tap that in, fold the foot in, take this whole area, crunch it down like that, and tap that in. Just straighten this whole area out. Then you want to take this, and this is just gonna tab in to there like so. And then you want to take this, untap that, rotate that around, rotate this around. Tab that in right there, plug these in right there, and take that. And then that was just, go like that, do the same thing on the other side. Tab that in. I actually broke this one on mine right there, you see I broke it on accident. You just untab this so it can actually be straight on this side. There we go. Then you want to untab this. Take all of, take both of these out. Let me see if the matrix will fit in there. Nope, does not fit. So you can't actually fit the matrix in there in vehicle mode. And just tab that in right there. And here is Hot Rod in his awesome vehicle mode. And now that he's in his vehicle mode, I just gotta say, this is amazing. I don't think this is completely accurate to the uh, movie, but I don't really care because this looks so very good. I like how this was a faux, how it was a faux chest, and this just looks really good. I like it. You see right here, got that silver right there on that uh, engine part, and then you got that flame effect right there, and you got the Autobot logo. More of that orange right there for the headlights. Looks very cool. I love that. And this guy has a very cool transformation as well. And then you got the sculpted lines from the arms again in that orange part. You got that folded flap right there that folds out the cover that up. You got the silver right there for the, for the exhaust pipes. Looks very cool. Same thing on their side. You got silver right here for the tires. Then you got that blue right there for that windshield. Very cool. 
you got some more sculpted lines right there and you got that big spoiler looks very cool indeed and on the back right here you do got the knees sticking out but honestly i don't care the only thing that bothers me on this figure is that uh on this vehicle mode is that right here the tires are uh painted and are just black they're not there's no silver on it on the inside like on this one which is confusing to me but let me just raise the camera up a bit so i can show you the weapon storage you can store these guns right here on the front of it like so and you're supposed to put the pizza cutter right here but it doesn't actually fit on there it just pops off it also pops off when you try to put it on on top of the guns when they're tabbed in right here also you could chip the paint like i have like i smudged it a bit so just uh be wary when you're if you want to store the vehicles i mean to store the weapons on the vehicle i can't seem to plug that one in so and then you go right there and then of course the matrix and the blast effects have nowhere to go but these flame effects can plug in to here on the backs right here which is very cool so if you want to display them like that on your shelf you can do that and is i really like that so for size comparisons i'm just measuring this out this vehicle stands at about one and three quarters and from across about four four and a half inches long and getting them um, compared next to Cup and Jazz, you can see right there, kind of scales well with a normal vehicle. I guess this is technically supposed to be a truck, so I guess this scales better than what it would scale with this. And here is Optimus Prime right there. Oh, I think it scales well indeed. So very, very cool vehicle mode. It can roll very well as well. So very cool vehicle mode. Bottom, it's all right. So yes, get him transformed back into his rubber mode and give him a score. So overall, this is a very, very awesome toy right here. I absolutely love everything that this figure is doing. The detail, the sculpt, the articulation, the accessories, the features that it has. The transformation is very intuitive and very fun to do. Uh, to do back and forth. And it's just a very great figure. If you haven't picked this guy up, then what are you doing? This is an amazing hot rod figure. Don't even, don't even try to say, oh, you're not going to pick it up because he killed all the time. Shut up with that, okay? Shut up. This is a very great figure. And if you don't have it, I, re I recommend it to you. This is a very awesome figure. And I'm going to give it, and for that, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Anyway, that's it for this review. I'll see you next time. Bye.